All around the world, healthcare is a, a huge industry. In this country, 10% of GDP goes into healthcare. Very little of the technology, if any, is fit for purpose. There's huge opportunity there. We think healthcare is a communication industry. And when staff have the tools to communicate, they can deliver really great care. And where they don't, it's really, really difficult. If you develop simple, good technological solutions, and in particular go in quite at the ground level and do lots of user research, communicating with people right at the front line, they can adopt technology. How you've been using some of the accurate features during the pandemic in the last few months? So it was a very easy uh, and simple way to communicate to patients quickly. Uh, where I spoke to doctors and said, you know, if you don't think a patient needs a prescription, how do you manage that? And they said, I like to give them something to leave with, like a, a leaflet. So we were like, okay, we, we can build that in, send it to the patient by text message. And when we demoed it with users, it was like witchcraft, that a message could go to their phone and into their electronic patient record system at the same time, which blew their mind. And then that just started really taking off, and we were quite lucky early on to have some real advocates. My name is uh, Osman Batty, I'm a GP in uh, this practice in East London and I'm also an IT lead for North East London. What really made Acurac stand apart was the way that it brought a new way of communicating with patients so we could send individualised text messages to patients and that was a, a revolution in a way. By February 2020, we were in 50% of GP practices in the country. We just started our communication channel between GP practices and hospitals. But then at the beginning of March, we spoke to practices who were quite concerned about patients with COVID symptoms coming into the practice and didn't really have the tools to, to work in a different way. This is a vital update about coronavirus. Stay at home. Anyone can spread coronavirus. None of us have ever seen anything like this. My name's Kimberly Doolan. I'm a GP. I work at Premier Medical Centre, which is in Brent in London, one of the worst hit places in the UK during the COVID crisis. So pre-COVID, it was probably 60-70% was face-to-face -face contact. And then overnight, it was just a complete change in our practice. Um, and that brought with it a lot of challenges for us. Our whole surgery actually was, we shifted to working from home um, and so I was in my kitchen using my mobile phone, uh, working remotely and calling patients. A lot of what they were doing, they needed to see patients, they needed to see rashes, they needed to you know, see unwell children. We decided, I think it was the 9th of March, um, that we needed to do something here. And Jacob and I had a breakfast that day and just started talking about can we add video? How quickly could we add video? Is that something that practices would want? So we said to the team, um, there's this opportunity here. It might be a complete waste of time. It might be a massive distraction, but we're going to give it a shot this weekend and try and get something out on Monday. We put a new icon in the toolbar, and it was the first time we'd kind of done something like that overnight. Suddenly, this icon appeared on our desktop that looked like a video camera, um, and we decided we'd have a play with it, and we saw we had video consoles, and instantly then we started to use it. How's your chest feeling today? Uh, yeah, it's a bit better now. Okay, fine, are you still coughing? And we didn't need any training, it was just so intuitive. So having the ability to really quickly be able to communicate and say, let's just arrange a video consultation and have that communication was really, really powerful. So Accurex became absolutely essential to our day-to-day -day functioning. We were using it very heavily to monitor patients which we were a little bit worried so about. How you get on. Um, if things aren't improving, obviously then... We were sort of in the middle of the, the eye of the storm. We went from about half the country using Accurex to pretty much all GP practices using Accurex in the space of three or four weeks. What Accurex is now doing is looking at what is the opportunity that having such high adoption allots us. We're launching a, a premium tier of our, our core GP product um, and we're putting um, a, a lot of the uh, new features that are coming up and then some of our existing features into that. So things like video consultations, things like pa our patient triage, which is where patients can contact you through your practice website. We feel like we've got the adoption to actually add a whole nother level of value on top now. So for us, it's really just the beginning. The status quo has has shifted. We've seen alternatives and they just don't, they don't match up. I don't think we would cope really without having Accurex. We also want to have impact in 
health systems around the world, not just developed health systems, but actually we think we can have a lot more impact and move a lot faster in developing health systems where there isn't as much legacy and we want to have a global impact.